In today's very special episode, Kale takes over the vlog and packages orders with you guys. We also get a sweet surprise in the mail. All of that and more in Vlogmas Day 13. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the vlog. Jerrica's upstairs right now doing a lot of editing, so that means you're stuck with me. This morning, I have been working on getting some packages out the door. It's Monday morning. There's some that are getting ready to go. I got some more staged over here that I need to just label some products for. Why don't we go upstairs and you can join me for that. That is one hungry, angry looking cat. Let's get you some food. Huh? Are you gonna lead me? Lead the way, Jiggy. Lead the way. Okay, okay. Gotta move out of the way. Oop. There we go, and we'll get you some fresh water. After coffee, which I still have down here, and a little bit of a snack, I'm back down in the soap studio and specifically my packaging studio and I'm going to wrap up these conditioner bars that I made last night. And now we are going to label these beautiful conditioner bars and body bars. All right, so I thought that you guys might want to come along and join me and see what my process is of packaging up a retail order. This order right here is a good one, I think, to do. It's from Etsy, but there's a good diversity of different products in here. There's six different products in this one, and what I do is I just kind of go down the list here on my order sheet. When I think I have everything for the order, I go through and I physically check it off the list. The first item on this one is a Georgian Bay soap. An important thing to do is look at the quantity and I physically mark it with a little Sharpie. Then we have Rosemary Mint Sugar Scrub. Go and mark that off. A Georgian Bay Shampoo Bar. There we go. A Lemon Shandy Soap. Mmm, smells good. We have a Lazy Bear Bath Bomb, which I've already packaged up and that takes a little bit of time in itself. Getting the box made and all the stickers on and everything. Check that. And then what we just worked on are glory days. Come on, come and focus. Body butter. All right, so everything's there. And now I just gotta seal the jars up and put these soaps into bags. So we are now ready to start putting all the products into the box. These boxes are a little fragile. So what I'm going to do is give it some reinforcements with some of these dividers that we get our Uline jars in. Now I'm going to wrap our jars even furthermore in some wrapping paper here. And I'm gonna put those on the other side from where the box is. I'll show you during a second. So now I am putting my soap in and I'm just gonna find a place here where the soap can rest up against this cardboard reinforcement that I have around the bath bear. And it's a little crooked here now, but that box here is safe and sound. All right, a little hard to do that with one hand, <laughs> but I got it in there off camera for you guys. And then the last one is just this shampoo bar. I'm going to butt this up against the other side of that bear bomb there. And I'm actually gonna do that off camera 
because uh, got a few too many packing peanuts in there, uh, but then I'll show you what that looks like. And there everything is in the box, safe and sound, safe and secure. There's a little bit of extra space in there, but my next smallest box after this, my nine by five by three would have been too small for everything. Happy how all this fits nonetheless, but I'm just going to top this off with some frill, some paper frill. And I almost forgot I have a little sample bath bomb here. This is our Happy Bear from the last batch that Jerrica made. No label on it, but we do have little cards over here with all the ingredients on, so we can give this as a little gift to this customer. And the last part that we love doing is adding a little bit of a personal touch. So we have these thank you cards right here. And on the back is where we write a little message. So you may just recognize a name that you see comments frequently on your YouTube channel. So I might just write a little bit of, of a note about that and thank them for the support, thank them for watching, and um, hope that they have a, a merry holiday season. We are almost done with this. We are just going to tape it up now. A little extra frill paper coming out the side. I'm coming at you from the other side now because I have my scale behind me and I have my computer here and let's make our shipping label for this. All right, so now that we got the shipping label made, we got to print it off to get it on the package and unfortunately, our Munbin printer, which we print our labels on, is all the way upstairs in the loft office. So let's go up and see Jericho. Just heading upstairs now. I think I left my computer up here last night. Yep. How's it going up here? It's going good. Good, good. scroll. I guess it would have been a little bit more dramatic if I had more labels. Let's see, has Uline come for bubble wrap? That is a negative. And look what's on our doorstep. Came out here to check on the bubble wrap. And looks like we got a secret Santa. Look what was on our front door. What's that? I don't know. Aww. Got a beautiful card with a red truck and a tree. Kayla and Jerrica, Merry Christmas. May your days be merry and bright. Enjoy your first Christmas in your new home. Happy New Year. Sarah, this is our realtor that sold us this house. Who's Sarah? Who's Sarah? Oh, Sarah, she owns the realty. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, you're right, you're right. Our realtor is Amy. <laughs> so the realty sent this, that's nice. See that, it says new home. Oh, new home. New home and then 2022. I was looking at that, I saw the 2022, I was like, is it a New Year's ornament? So it just marks the, it marks us moving into this house. Thank you, by the way, for taking on some of the vlogging. I'm still editing. <laughs> Late start to the day. I hope you're gonna be happy with what I got for you. I'm sure you did a good job. All right, and the last step we have to do before we go out and about on our errands today is label all of these packages. Now that we have our labels on, I'm just gonna go through here one more time with them all. This is like quadruple checking it and just make sure that I have the right addresses on the labels that are on the order sheets. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, yes, I was calling because I uh, made an order last week and uh, was just following up with it because I had a return scheduled, but nobody has come yet and it's been, this is the second business day now, so I just wanted to follow up on that. All right, sometimes it feels like it just takes forever to get ready, but ready to go now, so let's pack the car with the packages and uh, get on the road. We made it here to Chit Chats, so uh, let's go on in. I, unfortunately, 
don't have a lot of footage of me driving here for safe driving purposes. Looks like they left the skid, so maybe we'll have to have a fire or something. A wintertime bonfire. Hey Dempsey, thanks for coming to greet me at the door. It's so nice coming home to your excitement. Okay, you stay asleep. Just put this ornament up. A year ago today, we were traveling across, no, was it, were we already at your parents' house by the yeah, time? Yeah, we were already there, yep. We were homeless. <laughs> And now we have a home. Thanks to the people at this realty. And now they gave us an ornament. Where do you think I should put it on here? Uh, wherever there's a dead spot. I think there's a big one right here. Yeah, right there's a good. We yes. can even move that Santa up a little bit to make the dead spot even bigger. Oh, it's the perfect spot for it. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, lovely. That is perfect. And it it goes with our decor. Christmas. Kayla has been so sweet to take over the vlog today. Thank you so much. I had a later start of my day editing. I needed a catch up day. So thank you. You're very sweet. But I think for since you started the vlog, we should end with you too. This is, this is gonna be all about Kale. I just wanted to dip in, say hello, and say thank you for for filming all day today. I'm gonna go downstairs and press some bath bombs. Maybe we'll show you the end results of that. Let's keep it going with you. Okay. Let's go see what Jerrica is up to here. So what you making here? I'm making rosemary mint bath bombs. Okay. That's why These it smells so good. Smell good down here. Get a shot of this, I'm just about to press this. Okay. Got it, got the shot? Hold on, look. Okay, I got you in there now yet? You or... don't have to get me in okay. there. You can zoom in. <laughs> Let's zoom in, yep. Cool. This is what it looks like. Let's focus on that beauty. <laughs> Hello. Yep. Yep. It goes smooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like we're a little low on baking soda. Maybe you should show them how we store it. That'd be cool. Okay. So here's where we have the baking soda stored. Normally it looks like this is an empty box of it, but we got one more pallet of it back here behind the alcohol. So we definitely need to get need to get some more baking soda next time we're at Costco. Okay, I am going back upstairs for now. Okay, bye, thanks for visiting. You're welcome, I'm gonna get dinner going in a little bit too. Ooh, yeah, did you tell them what you're making? Uh, no, that's a surprise. It's good. It's gonna be healthy. <laughs> All right, it is getting close to dinner time here at the Zim's, so come along with me and uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna prepare for dinner for Jerrica and I tonight. Tonight for dinner, we are having some fish fillets. I'm gonna boil up some rice on the stove and I'm gonna be making some gai lan or Chinese broccoli. And it looks like, oops, let's see. Looks like my water is boiling over here, so I'm gonna put the rice on. And then we'll cover that up. We don't have a rice cooker. We actually still just do it old school. Two parts water, one part rice. And for our meat, as I said, we are doing frozen fillets. These are frozen sole fillets that you can just find at the supermarket in the frozen fish section. And then I just got a little bit of butter. I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Throw it in the microwave up here. I'm gonna blast that for 30 seconds.
wow this all looks so so good thank you again for making me dinner of course how did you like vlogging today i liked it i enjoyed it <laughs> hopefully i was entertaining enough i hope you guys enjoyed this vlogmas featuring the day in the life of kale <laughs> for those curious about the rosemary mint bath bombs i have that recipe on my patreon and speaking of my patreon thank you to all my patrons you guys are so so awesome and so generous and so kind and supportive especially these guys my bubble bffs thank you to each and every one of you yep right over here on, on my dark shirt <laughs> i'm always wearing a dark shirt you are it's very convenient for me editing <laughs> today having kale vlog was a huge huge help to me i had got a later start in the day slept in a little bit yes. i'm so grateful but you spend so much time editing it's the least i can do that's the next step for you learning to edit yeah if you have watched all the way to the end to see this delicious dinner thank you so much let us know in the comments whether or not this looks delicious to you guys and until the next video keep smiling keep being awesome and keep making beautiful things and have a happy holidays bye guys <laughs>